Cool. If the pandemic was looking to target the ideal couple on which to inflict some financial pain, Katie and Evan Tanner might just be it. Give me an idea of the percentage your income is down. Percentage, probably 20%, I would think. At least. Yeah, with everything combined. We like to do that Hallmark story because it's... Evan was just promoted to full-time associate pastor at this church. I mean, I'm paid well, but not enough for a living, you know. So I have to scrounge all these side jobs together, which I really enjoy doing, and I'm fortunate that I can. Those include building sets for community theater and a DJ business for things like weddings. With my DJ business, um, which has come back, but theater still is nothing, and I don't even know when it's going to come back. Um, when it first started, we had, we counted probably five to seven grand that we just lost in the spring. And still in their 20s, they didn't have seven grand laying around to replace it. Then COVID shut down Katie's business for two months. And then I know at the month mark, I was like, oh my goodness, like, this is it. <laughs> like, I don't know what we're going to do. And I remember at that point, I wasn't stressed and you were super stressed. I and was, I was like, it's fine. It's, it, we're, we'll be good. Yeah, I was freaking out. <laughs> um, Katie, in particular, felt like she wasn't getting what the state government promised everyone. To be self-employed and apply for unemployment, it is like leaps and bounds harder. For, like, for hairdressers. She yeah, was right. denied unemployment the first two times she applied. Like I would talk to some of my friends that did, you know, wait tables or whatever, and they would be like, oh yeah, like I, I got unemployment and my stimulus check and this, and I'm like, oh. And as if all that wasn't enough. I had to go to the emergency room this year. She had a car accident, and normally that stuff would be frustrating, but we'd get, it'd be fine, you know, we'd be able to take care of it. Now it's like we're sweating. And it's, I mean, it's to the point where like we got to eat and we're like, um, okay, well, we're going to need to split tonight because yeah. Yeah. so like we'll, we'll split dinners or we'll like literally try to figure out like the cheapest option to figure like grocery shopping and things like that. So we have reached that point, which we weren't, we haven't been at that point. Uh, since. We finally, when I went full time <laughs> to the church, we were like, we, we, we can each have our own meal. <laughs> this is great. The pandemic has set them back years. It feels like we were two years ago. When I was part-time, she just started her hair business, and it was like literally scratching money together. And while most people see the rollout of vaccines as the light at the end of the tunnel, for Katie at least, working in the hair business, the light remains dim. It's crazy to me because like we were one of like the first people to get shut down, uh -huh. but I will be one of the last people to get a vaccination. Yeah. Yeah.